Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We are going to learn about how to effectively communicate with ChatGPT. Uh, ChatGPT is a transforming AI chatbot where you can generate responses. But as any other mathematical issue, uh, ChatGPT is also a mathematical formula. And the simplest thing about mathematical formulas is that uh, if you put in the right variables and values, you will take out the right answer. Or as we say in mathematics, uh, garbage in, garbage out. So if you do not put the right inputs, you will get garbage at the end of the equation. So here uh, we are going to effectively communicate with ChatGPT so that this AI chatbot can give us the right information. And uh, the start is from here. So act as is very important. Here you're going to tell ChatGPT what form to take. Uh, should ChatGPT answer you as a scientist, as a teacher, as a student, as a designer, as an engineer, as a doctor, as a fitness guide, whatever you want. So this part is very important. And then uh, I'm going to skim through very quickly so that we can go to ChatGPT and easily understand what we mean by that. Then it's important to say to provide input. So here you should be specific about what you give ChatGPT and then what you expect from ChatGPT. That should be in the output section where you tell ChatGPT, this is what I want based on given, uh, based on what I've given you. And then if possible, provide a word limit and time frame in order to get more accurate answer. Categorize your explanation. For example, do you want simple explanation, professional explanation, technical explanation, academic explanation, detailed explanation? What type of it do you want? And what type of output do you want? Which means, uh, for example, do you want the output to be in table, bullet points, comma, a list, or whatever. After that, you can also provide topics uh, that could be discussed by uh, ChatGPT. For example, sometimes you may want ChatGPT to explain their question in terms of a few topics. So you give it the topics and then ChatGPT will understand what uh, issues you want to be discussed. Also, it's uh, from time to time important to provide the purpose of output. For example, if you want ChatGPT GPT to give you a description of an issue that you are going to post on Facebook. So ask ChatGPT for a more engaging explanation. Or maybe you will tell ChatGPT that you're going to use it for a blog, for in order to write a book, in order to write an article, in order to write an academic paper, or in order to prescribe it to someone. Keep also mind on grammar. Do not use abbreviations, or if you do, you have to explain the abbreviation in the beginning and be more specific. Also, do not forget the power of follow-up questions with ChatGPT. So let's look at all of them together in a practical example. In this example, we are going to tell ChatGPT to act as a fitness guide. Then you provide the criteria. So here you mention, I give you the age 30 to 40 years and then for example weight and then height and then for example activity level once uh, you have given your input criteria now you tell chat gpt what you want so here you tell chat gpt you give me three meal diet for three days which is high in protein low in carbohydrates and low in sugars explain in details why a uh, high protein diet is important for this age category as you can see in this prompt we have asked ChatGPT to uh, act as a fitness guide and here is what i give you the part of input where i've told ChatGPT that we'll provide the age weight height of uh, people and the activity level. However, you give me, which means ChatGTP will provide three meal diet for three days, which is high in protein and fiber and low in carbohydrates and sugars. Then I've asked ChatGTP to explain in details why high protein diet is important for this age category. 
Now let's see what kind of answer it provides and then we'll further polish the answer with follow-up questions. Now that we have received the three-day diet plan and the explanation of why uh, a high protein and fiber diet is important for this category, we are going to ask ChatGPT to give us a table for the above diet plan. So we'll say put the above diet plan in a table. That's what we mean by a follow-up question. And that's what we mean by what kind of output you want from them. So if you see, now ChatGPT is providing a table, and this is the type and the format of the output that we want from it. As you can see, there are three days, meal one, meal two, and meal three, very nicely put in terms of a table. Now, let's also ask ChatGPT to give us a shopping list for the above items. Let's also ask ChatGPT to give us a recipe for the first meal of the first day. Now we ask ChatGPT to write a technical step-by-step -step guide to making the first meal of the first day. So it has already given us the meals and it knows what's the first meal of the first day. And we are asking for a technical step-by-step -step guide. The word technical is important because we want to tell ChatGPT what kind of an explanation do we expect? And here is the answer. As you can see, it spells out the ingredients first and then the instructions on how to make that specific meal. I hope this video has helped you to take the most out of ChatGPT. Uh, however, I'm going to insist again, it's very important to use this diagram in your communication with ChatGPT uh, you should be very specific in what kind of input do you have, what kind of output do you want, what category of explanation do you expect, and many other things. I hope this video was useful. Please mention in the comment section what do you want the other video to be about using ChatGPT. And please do not forget to share the video and subscribe our page.